I'm hey, good. Congratulations on on your baby. You had oh, a, a little thank baby, you. Mr. Robot. Oh. Mr. Robot. Thanks. Yeah, she was born on uh, August 16th. Uh, my birthday's the 18th. It, so, and uh, that was a big birthday for you. That was a biggie, yeah. So was, was there, did you have a thing or? Well, no, not no. really, because, yeah. uh, you know, my wife was in the middle of labor and all those things. So, um, uh, but I did get to bring my baby home on my birthday. Oh, that's, uh, that's a good gift. That that's nice. a very good gift. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know you'll never have another birthday again, right? That's well, it. my wife's birthday is the 14th. My oh. older daughter's birthday is the 15th. My... You know, month old baby is the 16th. Wow. So my birthday is Passover. There's, wow. <laughs> There's our... a very particular rutting season in your family, yeah. it would seem. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll yep. have to count that back and see when it is. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it would be somewhere in November. Uh, right? Okay. Maybe it's an election that gets you guys going. Oh. Uh, <laughs> very good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, An God. election, yeah. Those are well, hot nights. <laughs> have, now, I was just asking Viola about the finale of her show. Right. Yeah. Did you go into the show knowing how it would end or how many seasons it would go? Uh, I mean, Sam Esmail always did say it would be about four or five seasons. Uh -huh. uh, he said that he always knew what the ending was going to be uh, from the beginning. He didn't share that until... I mean, every season we have, we have done the show, he calls, fills us in on what our character arc will be for that particular season. Okay. So for this last season, he called after all the scripts were done and written and... and uh, you know, spelled it out, and it was, it's, it's uh, extraordinary, I think. It was a, a very exciting, very interesting. There's going to be a lot of hard things to cope with and deal oh, with. Oh, really? Oh, oh, yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, it's again, it's more... It's a great show. It's such an original show. It's really, like, no show ever. And on top of that, you got Rami Malek, who I know you guys are very, very close. You yeah. really got to watch him blossom from oh this kid that nobody knew yeah. to this big superstar, uh, really. Yeah, no, it's great. Um, I mean, he is, uh, his performance, of course, in Bohemian Rhapsody was extraordinary. I knew from the first day that we worked together, I, I loved the guy. Uh -huh. I mean, we yeah. saw things the same way and, and uh, just got along great. And, yeah, to have been a part of this journey and seeing, you know... And He's a very nice kid. Very yeah. great. I very, mean, very I, nice. I love him. Did I... you have someone like that? Because you were acting from very young. Did yeah. you have... And you've been in so many things with so many people. Did you yeah. have an older actor who kind of yeah. took you under his wing? Well, uh, to a certain degree. I mean, I worked with uh, uh, Sean Connery when I was 15, That's 16. a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. So how old was Sean... Sean Connery, that would have been, what, uh, 35 50s. years ago? So he, yeah, somewhere, yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah, right. it was this movie called The Name of the Rose, and uh, we were both playing uh, 13th century medieval monks, walking around trying to solve some murder mystery. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was crazy. Um, but, yeah, no, he was great. Just somebody to really look up to and admire. I mean, I was 15, and, and uh, to be working with... James Bond at that age was yeah. uh, like, oh my God. Was... Yeah, that's, that's got to be nuts. Yeah, it was nuts. It was and nuts. And you spend a lot of like personal time together? Uh, yeah, we went yeah. out to dinner. Uh -huh. we, uh, we did get to know each other. I mean, look, I was 16, uh, so there was yeah. a there was an age gap, but right. I did always feel very supported by him and, mm -hmm. and uh, he was wonderful to work with. And I had to do a, a love scene in that particular movie, and I, oh. I was uh, very, very scared. Uh huh. I was really nervous, and he pulled me aside and said, just remember to breathe, boy. <laughs> so, <laughs> we, we got through it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was good advice. You always remember to breathe. Yeah, you have to I breathe. remember to breathe. Good advice from Bond. Is there anything that you will take as a memento from the set of Mr. Robot? Is there an item? Uh, well, uh, I did get... Uh, I got the jacket. So okay, like the one the jacket, you always wear? Yeah, yeah, the one I always wear. And I got the hat, because the hat was uh, originally mine anyway. I, I came in there and... Uh, <laughs> So you were allowed to keep your hat? I was allowed to keep my hat. Yeah, they <laughs> gave it back after four seasons. Wait, yeah. So, wait, you, so you wore this hat... Yeah, yeah. ...to, the... like, the set? Uh, well, I, I wore it to the first wardrobe fitting. To the fitting? Yeah, yeah. And, it was, and they were you know, like, just... this is good? This yeah, one's fine? Yeah, it had my, you know, sweat in it. It was dirty. It was all that, you know, stuff in it. So it just had a good, natural, raw wow. quality to it. It was the greatest gig for many reasons, but uh, one in particular was the fact that you know, everybody else would have to go into makeup, get ready. I would show up. I was bearded and 
you know, all I needed was some dirt, some a hat, and you know, I was this guy's imaginary friend, so I could get away. I was in there for two minutes every day. It was heaven. Would, were there backup hats? Uh, there were. There yeah, were. Sure, okay. sure. Just sure. in case, so you didn't have the pressure of the hat. Yeah, that's right. No, so you, would you bring the hat home, or would then the hat to go in like a little safe or something like that? They they would retrieve the hat. They would take from the hat yeah, from they, you. They would take the hat from me. I was not allowed to leave the set <laughs> with the hat. <laughs> Even though it was your hat. Even and by though it was all mine. Legal rights. All the legal rights. You could have taken that hat. I could have. I could have. Whatever you wanted whatever to. Whatever I wanted to. Good luck, guys. And these <laughs> bastards took that hat yeah, away from I know, you. I know. You had to go home hatless. <laughs> That's right. The whole four season, I'll let you in. It's okay. all about the hat. <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> I'm in, I'm in so much trouble now. Do you find that, like, you can have an object, like some something physical, whether it be a piece of clothing or, and a, whatever, a cigarette, whatever, and then you kind of build the character around that? Have you uh, done that? Well, usually it starts really with the underpants. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you start. Does it? Yeah, you, you, you know, you research the character and you find out what kind of underpants he'd wear and, and uh, you do the whole shopping. You now, know, I know I'm whole... probably being dumb, but are you being serious? Do you change the underpants according to... <laughs> Maybe there might be no underpants for some characters, you know? There I mean, are some roles, yeah. You, some might have, Amanda. you know, the white ones. Some might go with the ones that go halfway down the lake. That's right. Yeah. That's right. No, there's uh. all different kinds oh, of... Oh, okay. So, Mr. There. Robot, what... What type of underpants are we talking about here? You and know, will those go home with you or point. go to the Smithsonian? <laughs> Well, I mean, it really comes down, I guess, to, uh, you know, the Elliot's, uh, you know, because I am his imaginary friend, mm -hmm. so whatever he imagined, mm -hmm. you know, is what I had to... You know, but there, there is the possibility of commando. I, I see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's great to see you. Great it's see always you great too. to see you. The Thank show you so Mr. Much. Robot, it's the last season. I know. It uh, airs October 6th, 10 o'clock, USA Network. Christian Slater, everybody. We'll be right back with Gary Clark, Jr. <laughs> If you like that video, click subscribe and we'll be together until one of us dies.